So here we've got a Mark 43 with a suppressor. If you fancy a giggle and you want to see what the, uh, the clickbait is, skip to this time. Righty, this is a support gun. You'll notice it has a suppressor on it because it has a suppressor on it. Originally, the customer wanted this to be, you know, tight barrel, fucking mad hot, all this kind of stuff. Um, and I've explained you don't want to do that. It's a support gun. This thing is for keeping cunts heads down. That's what it's used for. The idea is you sit around the same place, the rest of your team, and you lay down a spread of covering fire. You don't want pinpoint accuracy. You're not aiming for that. You want the BBs to be able to be going down this barrel with no fear of jamming or clogging or anything like that and you don't want that amazing accuracy you want to cover a wide area what this thing needs is a fucking neutral hop unit because that thing's fucking terrible put an entire neutral setup in here and you can cover the entire fucking area really easily that's what this gun is for covering a wide area keeping fuckers heads down while the rest of your team move forward and allow you to move forward that's what it's used for so we're gonna make it more reliable better piston better gears Good shimming, make sure the rubber's doing its job, change it if we need to, and that's it. That's the job. Coffee. Ah! So it looks like it's already got an extended tight ball barrel. And some paper. Useful. Now I quite like A and K guns. I think you really do get what you pay for. I like the M4 series. As a base gun, they're fucking brilliant. This 7.4 battery. That's fuck, isn't it? Let's sort that out. The accuracy is fucking terrible. Fucking terrible. Um, it looks like it's completely pissed off to the left, so um, I think the first thing I'll do is check out the barrel. Yeah, that is fitted like fuck. Okay, so the plan is we're going to rewire it. We are going to put a basic MOSFET in there so we don't have to fuck up the contacts and look after these micro switches because they're not great. I'm going to show you something. This is not something I've invented. This is a very old trick, but it could be useful. So let's do that, shall we? Righty, after a lot of fucking around, we're going to have to change the gears out. The standard gears are so fucking noisy. I tried a different motor, uh, it was still noisy. I tried modifying the pinion, and it was still noisy. This is actually a quieter motor than this one, but it ain't the motor. Thank God, because that's the expensive route. These are the A&K gears, and my... God, the noise that comes out of them. If you have a look, if you can see that, but around the base, they're all ground out because of the way this sits. So, we're fucking the gears off. I'm changing the gears. Now, I love these fucking gears. I absolutely love them. These are on internal bearings, which means they are so sweat. Now I love these gears, they're an internal bearing, so if I spin them, they are fucking gorgeous, I absolutely love, love these gears. So, even if I hold the top of it, it spins. And it's silent as a motherfucker. They are silent. They are gorgeous gears. And it's still spinning. Fucking amazing. Such great gears. That.
That is what bad AoE looks like. That is why you fix AoE. If you look, the tooth is connecting at a complete angle from the rear tooth of the piston. See that? So it's not hitting a flat surface, it's hitting the corner of the tooth. When it gets to here, it is able to engage the full tooth. That is an AOE issue. Now this is, I'm gonna say, one of only a handful of actual AOE issues I've ever encountered. And yeah, they're pretty much always with 249s, 60s, anything with this gearbox. Who here owns a classic army, 249 or 60? Throw your comments down, please. Did you have to change your piston out? That's why. A real case of AOE correction required. A real one. Pad placed. Look at that. Perfect. I have taken a sliver off of the back of that tooth. So that, you skim past it, grab that, and off it goes. Ready? Okay. You fucking seen it. We are going to go with the MOSFET. We are going to go with a uh, bigger gauge of wire. But here is your test fire. And I'm going to do it big so you guys can hear. So that is sounding good. Ready? Yeah, baby. And there it is. It's a big fucking beast and I'm really pleased with it. It's come out lovely, really has come out well. The range on it, I mean, it's hopping two eighths like a motherfucker. Um, I don't think the length of the barrel helps that. I don't think the quality of the barrel helps that because I really don't like prongy barrels. They've totally shit the bed recently. But, he's got a decent hop unit in it and it works, you know, the, it, it works well. Everything is what you'd expect, but it's fast. It's way faster than I, kind of wanted it to be. I built it so it could be 11.1, that was my design plan. It's MOSFET for longevity. And yeah, I mean, it fucking goes. It really goes. So with the MOSFET living in the rail underneath, the battery living in the pet box, the battery recommended for this, I built it based on this type of battery. Not this length, obviously, that's just stupid, but a 1200 milliamp, 11.1 .1 volt, 20C. It's not gonna be too extreme, it's not gonna fucking blow the world up either, it's gonna be fine. That is the battery I'll be running it inside that pet box. It came out absolutely amazingly. No, 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 no. You impatient bastards. Fuck off. Fuck off. Go back to the beginning. Fuck off back to the beginning. Seriously? Like, you don't want to watch the video? You just wanted to see some... Oh, look, a thing went wrong. Oh, my God, look at this thing. We can't... Do you know what? Have a fucking surprise left in your life. Fuck off back to the start.